Hello folks, welcome back. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to use Amazon S3 as an artifact storage. In this demonstration, I am going to create a Jenkins job. That Jenkins job, whenever we run, it is going to create a artifact and stores in S3 bucket. Let's see how it is going to happen and what and all steps we should follow. This is my GitHub page where I have specified a list of the steps we should follow. First thing is we need a Jenkins server which I have already installed and available. Some of the jobs also available. Next thing is we need to create a S3 bucket. I will show you how to create an S3 bucket. Then we need an IAM role. I hope you might know about IAM roles. Usually roles we use to access one AWS service with another. Then we'll go to Jenkins server and install S3 publisher plugin. Once plugin is installed, we need to configure it. Next we'll run a Jenkins job, which is going to create a artifact and stores under S3. Let's go and set it up. This is my AWS console. Let's go to S3 and create an S3 bucket. Create a bucket. I'm giving S3 bucket name as a S3 artifact demo and uh, let it be in Singapore region and create it. Right, we got S3 artifact demo bucket. Next thing, we need to create an IAM role. I'm going to IAM, IAM. Here I have already 8 roles. Let's go and create one more. Create a role. And this role we are going to use to EC2 instance. So choose EC2. Next. We should give permissions. In AWS we can give permissions through policies. These all are policies. If you see 494 policies are there. Under that we have S3 full access means we are giving S3 full access to our EC2 instance so that it can able to store artifacts. Next to tag, this is optional. We can give S3 full access role just for labeling. I'm going to give role name as a S3 full access. This is the role I'm giving and description also same create that's it now we have s3 full access role this role we need to assign to our ec2 instance nothing but our jenkins server i'm going to our ec2 console under ec2 running instances we have jenkins server which is up and running i have already logged in and we'll assign an IAM role for this. Select your server, actions, go to instance settings. There is a option to attach or replace IAM role. Currently, we don't have any roles for this server. S3 full access, apply it. Now we have set up the stuff on AWS console. Let's go to Jenkins console and install S3 publisher plugin. This is my Jenkins console. Go to Manage Jenkins. Under Manage Jenkins, you have Manage Plugins. Go to Available to search for our S3 Publisher plugin. Under Filter, search for S3 Publisher. Yep. This is the plugin. Install without restart. It will take a while to install. Once it is installed, we need to configure it. Installation is successful. Go back to Jenkins console. Again, manage Jenkins. This time go to configure systems. Now, if you scroll down, you can see. Yes, Amazon S3 profiles. S3 profile. You can give you a profile name. It may be anything. I'm going to give S3 artifact demo. And we are using IAM role. We are not using access key and secret access key. 
better to use IAM roles if you are accessing your AWS resources. Then apply save. Alright, we have set up required stuff to store our artifacts on S3. Let's go and create new item. I will give artifact demo and uh, it is a maven project i am taking our hello world program next let's scroll down git let me get the url so this is the url which i am going to use copy the url go back and uh, provide this url next we are building it to build palm.xml is there goals we are giving clean install package next post build actions if you choose this one you could able to see publish artifacts to s3 bucket here you can see our s3 profile has been updated next files to upload what and all files you want to upload source where is our artifact is stored so usually it will store under web apps directory right so it would be star star slash web app slash target slash star dot where okay this information you can find under your jenkins workspace directory i know where artifact get created that's why i am giving this source exclude nothing but do you require these directories or not I want to exclude it so let me go with web app slash target let me remove this then destination bucket we need to provide our bucket name I'm going to AWS console s3 yes, bucket under s3 we have bucket name this is s3 artifact demo right let's go and give this s3 yes, artifact demo now storage type we have three storage types that is standard standard infrequent access reduced redundancy let it be standard now which region is it located it is in singapore region usually these are the region names we call singapore region name is ap southeast one you can find this information in aws official website aws regions information let's go to regions and availability zones if you scroll down you can see we are using singapore yep this is ap southeast one we need to choose the same region ap southeast one that's it you also have additional features if you really need you can use this otherwise we can skip apply save now let's build this job and see how the build is going to happen once build is successful we could able to see our artifact under our s3 bucket all right our job is successful now let's go to s3 bucket i'm going to refresh it yes you can see web app under web app target is there you can see web app dot where right hope this video helps you to set up s3 artifact thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel see you in the next lecture